I am confident that many of you will recognise the photo on the wall behind me. Some of you may even know the name of the boy. This is a photo of Alan Kurdi, a three-year-old Syrian refugee child. This photo was taken in September 2015, when his body washed up on a Turkish beach after his family tried to cross the Mediterranean. Despite the refugee crisis being present since 2011, it was this photo of a drowned boy that changed global attitude to the problem. The reason for this is simple. The picture told a story. Stories function as a method of communicating information in a way that allows us to form an emotional response, capable of triggering a change in ideas, perceptions and actions. Stories have always used the technology of their time to convey ideas to people in a format that is universally understandable. The earliest stories we have are drawings etched into walls by cavemen, the myths of Vikings passed down by word of mouth. Greeks and Romans used theatre, writing and the spoken word to tell tales of gods and majestic lands. The fundamental reason that we have told stories like this throughout time is because they are tools for us to instill values in people and they provide a moral motivation for people to change their behaviour. The Odyssey or the Iliad by Homer are timeless examples. The protagonist faces a long, difficult journey in an attempt to return to his home, which many people can identify with. The principles the story teaches, such as sacrifice, selflessness and determination, illustrate a method of living people can adopt in order to lead a more prosperous life. As a species, it is our desire for this ultimate guidebook to life that has cultivated our reverence for stories. The impact stories have on us by transforming the way we engage with the world results from the empathy awoken in us when we hear about the trials faced by others. The response sparked by these stories leads to a transformation of behaviour and perception of the world around us. A psychological phenomenon commonly experienced by humans is something called psychic numbing. This means that the value we place on an individual life in danger does not increase proportionately to the number of lives at risk. We go to extremes to help individuals in distress, but we don't do the same for large groups of people because we don't feel we will make a difference. Stories operate as a way of individualising large-scale issues and counteracting psychic numbing, because when you're talking about one boy that drowned on a beach, people feel more able to help, hence are morally obligated to do so. On the wall behind me, you will see a graph that shows the number of searches for the words Syria, refugees and Alan Kurdi on Google Trends after the photo was released in September 2015. As you can see, the spike in interest was monumental, showing the effect a story can have on a global scale. The technology in which today's stories must operate has progressed. The introduction of the internet has bombarded us with data on an unprecedented scale. This deluge of information now available to us has completely changed the way we process what we know about the world. With so much around us, we filter out all bar the most necessary things we need to know in order to function in society. My proposition is that stories are now more important than ever in helping us comprehend our world. A very powerful recent example of this is something called the Blue Planet Effect by Sir David Attenborough. The programme was by Sir David Attenborough. It aired in 2017 and focused on issues in the ocean, in particular the effect of plastics. The effect of this story was obvious. In the direct aftermath of the show, searches for plastic recycling increased by 55%, and the first episode was the most watched show in the UK in 2017. This is another contemporary example of taking the myriad of data available to us and turning it into a story, in this case a nature programme, in a way that allows people to connect with the information and form an empathetic response. So many of our issues in the world today can be faced if we find the right story to raise awareness. And so, when you leave today, I would like you to see the enormous amount of data available to us as an opportunity. An opportunity to create stories and an opportunity to listen to stories created by others. Be open and allow stories to become the antidote to psychic numbing. Thank you very much for listening.